Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to go about in solving this ALX uh, uh, project uh, on processes and signals. Uh, please go through the resources if you wish and you're going to get more information going through this project and please read through the general requirements as well. But uh, stay tuned and then let me uh, show you how to go about solving the taxes. We're going to start with uh, tax zero and that is to write a bar script that displays its own process id that is your own process id so to start with uh, i've already opened my git bus the terminal here so uh i have to uh go into the repository this uh repository does the alx system engine which i already have in my git bus and let's go here um, cd to lx the system okay and then in this repository we have to create uh this directory uh that's the 0x05 processes and signals and let's create the directory in there we issue this command mkdir and for to avoid any errors just gonna like copy Okay, it's copied and then I'll paste it here and enter. The directory is created. Now I'm going to enter in this directory now 0x05 tab and then let's bring the full name. We already in the directory. Let's see, there is nothing there. Uh, us. It's currently empty. Nothing is there. So uh, we will have to. Uh, we will have to make sure okay we'll have to create uh first of all uh we have to do a readme file of course which is mandatory else the checker won't run uh so let's create the readme file read me initially that this and we can put uh oh this and sorry in signals project let's save it okay now we can uh create a tax zero file and then implement the solution in there Uh, v we're gonna use V again and then it's already copied tax zero oh sorry okay it wasn't copied let's copy it now And then paste the file name where we gonna write the well it's like it's not copying let me just type it there zero does what is does my process id my pid okay and enter in v just verify the name in case if you are typing this and let's press i to edit this and then let's go to let's uh, uh let's type uh, this commands there uh, remember okay remember we have to first of all based on the general uh, requirements or instruction we have to do a readme which was done and then now we have to make sure that the first line of all our bash scripts should exactly be this so if you like we can just copy this and then copy paste it in our first line enter and now let's describe what this is doing let's do a command 
hash and space uh, display it will display my process id display my pid fine and then the command to do that uh, to display the process id will be echo dollar dollar and then let's save this let's run let's make the uh, file executable and we're gonna do this uh ch mode who we'll change mode and you do u plus x then the file name make it executable so if you do this the file is now turned to green it's executable and then we have the readme file as well so we can test this and see whether our first text is successfully done and let's uh, first of all uh, push it or commit the changes rather we do git add and git uh, commit dash m okay uh, we can write the commit message uh, it can be anything uh, let's put the uh, Hmm. processes is it your own choice to put any message here signal project enter and then you get push push it to your github repository now let's confirm in here what our checker will say whether what we did is correct good congratulations the text passes successfully so that is it to go about this text and then we can go through the second text as well complete it here it is saying write a bar script that display list of currently running processes so uh, we can equally test uh, this other script here and see and know our process ID. Hence, it is executable. Before we start the second text, we can, let me just uh, do this, reduce this a little. And then, okay, let's try and execute the script. Just to dot slash uh, the file name. Okay, tab. So it gives us our process ID here. 390 is our process ID. 